Hey, I want to talk to you about the most beautiful thing in the whole world and the whole universe, and that is forgiveness. Forgiveness is probably the most brilliant concept in the Bible. It is so unnatural, it is supernatural. And that if you look at today's world, we live in a world where everyone keeps a record of wrong. Everyone returns evil for evil. Well, the Bible teaches us to do something else. It says instead of acting like everyone else, conforming to the world, returning evil for evil, but to bless your enemies, to love your enemies, to pray for those who do you wrong, to not resist evil in the sense of that. When someone slaps your face, turn the other cheek. When someone asks of you, give. By not resisting evil, you stand a chance to make a difference, right? And that is the most significant thing you can do. Think about it. Someone hurts you, someone does you wrong, right? If you just act evil after they do that, then you're just evil yourself. You can imagine it also like this. Let's say evil is just a round, dark circle. And imagine all the different people who are evil and how many round, dark circles that would be. You've got a bunch of round, dark circles, all of them evil. You yourself, you're trying to be a white circle. You're trying to be different than everyone else. But every time one of those black circles bumps you, if you just turn to become a dark circle yourself, then you're just behaving just like them. So how on earth do you maintain that purity? Well, by following the word of God, by not returning evil for evil, then you're standing on the rock. That is the foundation of the word of God. That is the Lord. That was manifested to us as a person, as Jesus Christ. And he has taught us ways that are beyond men. Secular society, it, it breeds people who are victims. Where victims become, their identity is based off their victimhood. What hope is there? Well, the Bible encourages you to be victorious through the word of God, by overcoming the constraints, the shackles of this world that are found in secularism, hope that has no hope, truth that has no real truth. Well, Jesus is the hope of hope that justifies there being any hope. He is the truth of truth. And he has offered us teachings in ways that are beyond men. And one of those teachings is that of forgiveness. It's beautiful, it's brilliant, it is light in this world when you do it right. So next time someone hurts you, pray for them. Next time someone perses persecutes you, count yourself blessed and bless your enemies. By doing so, you stand the best chance of changing them and also maintaining your own integrity. God bless you, I hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think.